Should you get your real estate license? What is happening, YouTube? It's Matt Faircloth. Thank you for watching Mentorship Monday. My name is Matt. My company is called the DeRosa Group, and I'm here to give you guys some real estate knowledge that I've picked up over years and years of years of investing in the real estate business. You guys email your questions to help me at DeRosaGroup.com. That is help me at DeRosaGroup.com, and I'll answer your questions right here on the YouTube page for you and everyone else to learn from. And don't forget to check us out at www.DeRosaGroup.com if you want to register for our newsletter and all kinds of other cool stuff we're up to, including investment options that we have. Um, so today's question comes from Shin Shanice and Shanice wants to know, should Shanice get a real estate license? And it's an interesting question. And I think that it's what I did. I think that, uh, getting a real estate license is a great way to get educated on the real estate just business, not so much the investing business, because most people that get their license are there to transact real estate, meaning to help people buy and sell their properties. Um, but the laws that govern real estate are something that, that comes up in real estate licensure classes, uh, selling skills, um, and, and honestly, just, just a lot of things that, that, that would benefit you indirectly as an investor to understand a real estate agent are available for you in the real estate, in, in the real estate education uh, sphere of, of getting licensure, right? That's that's number one. Number two, another reason why I think you should get a real estate license if you're if if you need this is a real estate license will provide you the means to make some income while you build up your business. So it's another stream of income you can make. Maybe not work full time as an agent, but if you if you have a full time job and you're looking to quit your job to invest full time, getting your license may be something to bridge that. So maybe you quit your job. Get your you get your license, then quit your job, and then sell, transact a few pieces of real estate a month to keep your lights on and keep your trains running on time while you build up your investment portfolio. I have several friends that have done that. And that's how they transitioned to being a full time investor. Is they bridged it with with licensure work, and they just did less and less real estate stuff as they built their real estate business up. That's a great reason why I think you should do it. Now, Shanice's question is about should you, uh, should she work for a property management company? Should she do commercial, whatever? Depends on what your goals are. If you're looking to do more landlord stuff and maybe want to build up a real a rental portfolio of your own, um, maybe doing property management is a means to learn the ropes of, of managing real estate. The only problem I have with property man working for a property management company is they're most likely going to want you 40 hours a week uh, to work in their company. You will get a great education. There'll be nothing like it and you'll probably make a ton of contacts, but it'll be a 40 hour a week thing versus getting your license and transacting real estate sales would be most likely working with individuals like you know uh, homeowners that want to buy property but you can work as much or as as uh, as least as you want right um so uh, i think that's more in control of your time but it's also no guarantee on how much money you can make a property manager probably makes a straight up salary and and that so um there's also you can do commercial real estate transactions like selling office buildings or apartment buildings and that kind of stuff um, but those types of tra those types of real estate agency you typically have to wait a while to get paid meaning like it might take you know, three to four months for a deal to come to fruition and, and that until you build a wheelhouse of deals. All these things have pluses and minuses. You need to consider which pluses and minuses work for your life, uh, Shanice, and, and decide where you want to go with it from there. Um, but I do bottom line believe that a real estate license is a great way to get educated and a way to get started in the real estate space if you're looking to get going. So, um, that's my answer for you, my friend. Thank you for why. Thank you for your question. Thank you guys for watching. Help me at DeRosaGroup.com is the email address, and DeRosaGroup.com is our website. If you want to check us out and hear more about what we have to offer, um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Happy, happy Monday. Have a great, profitable week.